this is Katie. Hi. <laughs> Katie Riley, who was at Round Top three years ago? Two years ago. And Nadira uh, Nas, oh, let's say. Nasruza. 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 Okay. And um, uh, uh, Nadira Hills from New York, and I've known her ever since she was just starting the food at Special oh, Music my. School at uh, Kaufman Cultural Center. And Katie, I've known now since you first came here. Great. Okay. So, um, what what is my slogan? Air is. Remember what I always say that is, or maybe I didn't mention it. Air is food. It's a very vital and important food. Like I don't want to knock over the bass players. So that food is, you know, I mean, we don't think of air as food, but believe me, I mean, it's even great. You, you, you won't gain weight on, on air because it has no calories. <laughs> and it's plenty and it's abundant and we contribute to our environmental, our environmentalists to make sure that our air is clean. But we do and we must partake of it. So we're just going to do an exercise that I actually, um, you know, through COVID, being able to see all these um, online classes and inviting people into my Juilliard class and my Stony Brook class and doing them for their classes, we have shared such an abundance of a wealth of information. But Claire Chase is a cutting edge flutist who is making the 21st century into this fireball of involvement in what she's doing with her flute and her flute family. She plays everything. Piccolo flute, alto flute, bass flute. She has comparable bass flute. And she showed us a recent exercise that I just thought was terrific and right in line with what I believe with. So first of all, my uh, credo is I just want you all to take a deep inhalation through your nose, through your nose. It's vital that we're going to do a lot of breathing through the nose so as to awaken these primary uh, places, these locations of where we can sense the air entering our body. And if you accompany this uh, with the syllables of Hawaii, uh, this can also help enhance your breathing experience. And I'll show you how. So first of all, we're just going to breathe through the nose. So breathe deeply in and push. And let as much air out of as you can. And breathing in. And push, 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 push. You're going to use your lower abdomen. You're going to feel the rib cage expand in the back. You might want to use your hands, so breathing in. Let it just be an explosion of air. Good. Loosen up those shoulders. You might want to do some shoulder rolls here. Put the shoulder rolls forward and back behind us. Good. Okay, good. And just little neck stretches. Let your right ear go to your right shoulder. Don't force anything. Left ear to left shoulder just to awaken this whole upper torso area. So now we're going to breathe in through the nose. I'm going to go. These are all singers warm ups. I'm sure you've done them all. So, so breathing in. This is largely because the flute has no reed. We have no resistance. We have a hole. It's somewhat pathetic. We have a hole. And that's all we do. We happen to be the oldest instrument known to mankind. I played a 45,000 year old bone flute. So let's get that perspective right there. Wow. 45,000 years old. All right, so made of bear bone from this. Because when the bears die in the caves, they went in and they found all kinds of uh, materials to make flutes. Okay, now we're gonna breathe in again. Ah.
So you're breathing through your mouth, so you're... I want you to do that. You can do it here if you're used to that, like brass players do. But you don't need that thing if you don't want to. So it's very important that you be empty, so you're breathing in. Ha wa he. And you will feel what's happening here. So the ha, the ah, is this low belly here. Ha, so inflating, right? And wa is back in the ribs. You can, you can cross your hands and feel your ribs here when you do the syllable. Do you feel those ribs expanding? Let it out, relax your shoulders. And he is high chest. Now, you have to remember that the lungs go as high as right underneath the collarbone. So that's, do you feel that up there? Okay, so let's do it through the mouth. In deflate, deflate, and got it? Let it out, and again. Very good, and keep your shoulders out. There's no need to involve the shoulders. The function of the shoulders is to bear the weight of these arms. Like if I take Katie's arm, let go. Very good, excellent. Let it go. Very good, let's see how it goes. You can do this with the person next to you. Very nice, good. It's very important that you feel that release in the shoulders, okay? Try that, do it, do it next to your trusted friend. Pick up their arm, make sure they're letting go. Here you go, oh. yeah. Yeah. Nice. And we have Kelly. Yes. Kelly. I'm from DC. DC and Lance 
Scott from Wisconsin.
going back to New Year's. New Year's New Year. They already start defining it's very soon, probably in your master's program, but <coughs> if they want to specialize in timpani as opposed to the other families. But of instruments, but to really, really, really outstanding. You. Now, where has this been hiding? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been in the bowels of the back rooms, right? <laughs> Terrific. This is the radio orchestral kit that, that we have. Okay, wonderful. I just want to talk about that. Yeah, Bravo. Beautiful. All right, so it's the big discussion. Do we try to play as a jazz player? You know, that's the big one. This is all written out, everything. Although you were doing stuff off the page, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I invite you both to really, you know, uh, who are some wonderful faces that you uh, revere in the field? Ray Brown. Ray Brown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic. So, you know, you've got to do a little visualization that way and come off the page. That's all I'm happy to say. Now, we do have this big mother load piano here. We've got a balance issue, all right? I think for this, this hall is very wet. The uh, acoustic is extremely vibrant. I would love to have you get a little more spice. In other words, what are you going to do with the embouchure to get that? We've been talking about laser sound. And so that if you can, let's try. And you've got like, what, three minutes or something? Yeah. Okay. So let's just, let's just do that finale. Um, just the wrap up there. After your cadenza. And what I'd love you to do is really find a way somehow. He writes, Claude writes very low, you know, so you're you, if you can do me a little ha 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 ha, so you got I, I need you to really come out for the four days, okay? Let me just hear that Katie by yourself. So a little more kind of you know, ha 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 try that.
So can we just try from there? I want her to really, when I say spice, you know, that then you can play out and you can really play out. It's, it appeared like you were holding back a little bit. I mean, the piano is, you've got the lid down. But uh, that's fine. That's good. Let's try from there. Can we just do that? Great tempo. Wow, what a good section. You know where it is? Yeah, can we start? Oh, 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 oh. Sure, sure. Concerto, but you know, and the music just went bleh, 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 right off the stand. So that's what I want. You, you're right on the B, so and it won't get sharp. You just take your your thumb off. Try that. More, more. Yeah, and it's the speed. Try. Yes. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay. You got to go, right? You got to go. Can we just do a little bit sentimental? Okay. That's, thank you so much. Specific, you know, it's sentimental. You have to, you have to go a little more inward. But again, I thought your sound could project just a little bit more. You know.
the mouth is important for this. Say, and then bring your lips around. Try it. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, but try that. Experiment with it. Yeah. Just do it by yourself once, so. I just wanted it to kind of loosen up a little bit. 
this was a concours piece, so uh, I think it was a concours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it was a required work for all the graduates to be able to do their examination with this wonderful piece. I think it was a concours. Was it a concours piece? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. So, um, I do, I guess from Brunel, who was the most fantastic teacher, influenced all our great greats, including Marcel Moise, who I had such honor to be able to work with for years and years in Marlboro and Brando. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a complete performance of this. So that
would come a little closer. Maybe can come up on stage and actually you can hold it by for us so we can hear it. It's not quite you can anticipate it. This is a whole technique in itself for rehearsing. You have to coordinate your
so that every single note has an articulated syllable. And it's so impressive to hear. I'm sure Alain could do this very easily still, because as a child, you have to go, so you know, so you know, you have to be able to say everything. But I love that it's the language that is every single note has meaning that way. And it's always in relation to the other note. It's just amazing. Now, could we just do the little, um, you know, the little uh, andante section? Yeah. How much time? Because we also, wait, how much time do we have? Oh, yeah, we have a little, we do have a wonderful treat to send off for you. But let's just do a little of this dark. This is really very uh, exotic. Can we try that just before she goes in there? Then you get to go up the 
you see the purple. Right? So do that scale up there. It's such a beautiful preparation for that.